Hey, what's going on? My name is Faye Ayadele, and uh, this comment goes out to uh, Cash Money, Young Money, Slim Williams, and uh, Baby Williams. Just wanted to comment on uh, certain things that have been going on in the uh, record business and in the uh, in corporate America as well. Um, you know, all my respect, all my um, prop goes out to you guys for the big things that you guys are doing, you know, with uh, Cash Money and uh, Young Money, with Lil Wayne, with uh, Nicki Minaj, with Drake, with, uh, you know, with uh, Jay Sean over there in uh, Europe. I believe you guys are really doing big things, you know, but also I believe that there's a lot of uh, uh, due respect that's not given to you guys, you know. I mean, Cash Money started back in 1989, not a lot of people know that. You know, even me personally, I'm out here in, uh, over on the East Coast, and a lot of us, you know, we just started hearing about Cash Money back in 1998 and, and uh, 99, when all this uh, bling bling era started. But the point of the matter is this, you know, nobody, nobody but nobody is doing anything remotely close to Cash Money. I'm talking about labels, I'm talking about record companies. You know, I mean, how many people can actually put themselves out there and say, yeah, they ain't to deal with Universal Records, which is like the biggest... Uh, distribution record label in the world ain't to deal with them whereas you know they get an 85 to 90 percent of their money whereas universal who's bigger than life itself is getting only 10 percent not too many labels can say that most of these labels nowadays they sign a 50 50 deal with them and they don't get to keep the masters of the uh you know the uh the, the, uh, the master recordings that they that they uh, get from the artist but cash money is doing that so at the end of the day you guys have proved corporate america wrong you guys have put uh, have uh, proved the uh, the industry wrong, because the uh, mainstream America wants to tell you that you got to go to Harvard University, you got to go to you know all these different uh, business schools or whatever to actually ink the deal or to be able to have enough common sense to or not even common sense, advanced sense to uh, to do the things that you guys did with uh, with the um, with Cash Money label for one and with uh, with uh, inking a deal like I said with Universal Records. You know, so it just goes to show you that the stereotypical uh, mindset of corporate America, you know, is that, you know, you got these guys or whatever, they're doing big things, or at least they think they're doing big things. And at the end of the day, we're going to, you know, we're going to take them for their money. We're going to make them sign this deal. But you guys didn't do that. You know, you saw that you were already independently making millions of dollars. Then why are you going to let somebody come out that, you know, and give you some kind of shady or some kind of messed up contract, whereas you guys are already making money? So you had enough sense, you had the foresight to see all that. And a lot of that, and a lot of people right now, whatever in the record industry or whatever, are trying to copy what you guys did, but they can't. You know, they're trying to replicate it, but you guys originated it, you pioneered it, you, you know, you, you made it yours. You personified it. Like I said, all my respect and all my uh, prop goes out to, uh, to Cash Money for that. But the biggest problem that I think is, is out in the industry right now is that Cash Money is not getting this due, due respect and it's not getting this due props. You know, you got a lot of smaller label that's not even one tenth the size of Cash Money that are getting all these props and all these accolades and and all this respect. And I sit back and I'm looking like, why is this happening? There is nothing bigger in the in in the business as far as you know. I think Jay Z said it best when he says, uh, "Women lie, men lie, women lie, but numbers don't." You know, Cash Money number one as far as uh, as far as uh, the numbers in the record business. Cash Money is number one as far as money in the business. Nobody else is doing what Cash Money is doing right now. But I feel like they're not getting the, the, the due respect that they deserve, you know. And like I said, you guys are doing real big things over there in, uh, in, in the whole of Northern America. You're taking over America. Everybody knows who Cash Money is. Though I don't feel like they, they Cash Money gets the respect that they deserve. And you guys branched out to uh, to UK. And now Jay, uh, you know, Jay Sean, he's doing big things. He's number one. So, you know, I know corporate America, they're taking a look like, yo, what are these guys doing? We automatically assume that they were thugs and they didn't know what they were doing, but look how they just crushed the competition. You crushed the competition over here in, uh, in the whole Northern America. You crushed the competition over there, in, uh, you, uh, over there in UK. And like Slim said, you guys have always had a foresight, you know, to branch off instead of just doing basically rap to do pop and to do other things as well. But, you know, you had to establish your base over there in the UK. Now you guys are running a show over there. There's nothing bigger than Jay Sean over there in the UK. You know, now everybody in the UK knows who Cash Money is. Whoever had doubts before and whoever thought it was just whatever, whatever. I mean, there's big labels over there in the UK. You got multi-million dollar labels that are doing big things that were well established long before Cash Money ever came along. And you destroyed the competition. You you annihilated them. You know, and I believe that you just you just can't be you, you just you just can't be a normal person and say to yourself that yeah, I'll crush UK, I'll crush Northern America. And now I'm going to other uh, parts of the world or other parts of the country that I haven't uh, tapped the resources. 
and that's the main that's the uh that's the uh, main point of um of this uh comment like i said that i wanted to make to you guys or advice or proposal or whatever you want to call it i can't really give you guys advice because you know you guys are like you know you you, you you're bigger than life itself you know you did everything on your own nobody told you what to do you didn't have some kind of big executive watching you every move you did it because of the mentality that you have from the streets from your own personal experience and everything else you know you suffer you grind it you know you blood and sweat you know to get what you want and you got it but i guess i'm just putting uh putting my own personal opinion out there for you guys is this is that right now cash money got the biggest base in, no, in the whole of northern america there's no competition you got the biggest base out there in the uk now where there's no competition because if you can be big in the uk then it spreads all around the europe and everybody else knows about you you understand but i think right now or whatever what cash money needs is someone over there in the other continents as well because if you're big over here you're big in the uk why not take over the world why not take over every continent you know and i believe um and i believe that i i'm someone that can that can help you guys out with that in a sense of that I'm, I'm hard working, I'm a grinder, you know, I see you guys, how you guys, you work hard, you party hard, I'm the same way, you know, I'm a mentally focused individual, I'm always thinking of new innovative ideas and new things to do or whatever to make as far as making money, especially that in the music business, you know, that's one, that's one of the main, main things I respect about you guys, you give young people that are nobodies or whatever, or young people that come out of, you know, that are poor and, you know, underprivileged, uh, under, underprivileged coming up and you give them an opportunity. You know, I mean, who knew back in the days, 20 years ago, Weezy was going to be who he was today. But you guys saw that. You had that foresight. Who knew Juvie was going to be doing big things that he's doing now? You guys saw that and you knew that. You know, just like you gave Mac, uh, uh, Mac Main, you gave him that opportunity. He's now the president of, uh, of uh, Young Money. You know what I'm saying? Nobody else does that. He's doing big things for Young Money now. He's, you know, he's grinding. He's working hard because he knows where he came from. You know, and that's the problem I have with all these other labels and all these other corporate America companies, too. You know, especially the big labels that the guys, they actually from the inner city, they know what the struggle is all about. But when they get rich, when they get uh, a little bit of money, they put some white Jewish guy or, or, you know, they put a white guy or a Jewish guy in the forefront or whatever to run their label. And I'm like, why would you put someone that knows absolutely nothing about the business? You put them in the forefront to run your show, you know, and I think that's just hypocritical. You know, I don't got any problems with white people or Jewish people. I'm not anti-Semitic, but the point of the matter is this. I believe that just like white people do and just like Jewish people do, they try as much as possible to help their own people before they help other people. And I believe that's what cash money does. I think if it wasn't for cash money, most of these artists would probably be dead, locked up in jail, and, you know, all into all sorts of other stuff, you know. But cash money, you guys help them or whatever. You help them to help themselves. You help them to feed their family. You help them to be somebody. You help them to, to achieve so much that they would never have achieved if it wasn't for cash money. And like I said, that's why... I felt in my heart of hearts that I had to actually extend, you know, extend my comment out to you guys and, you know, try as much as possible to, uh, uh, I guess, to to express myself and, and, and knowing that you guys, knowing what you're about and knowing that you do help the youth, you take little people that are nobodies and you turn them into somebody. You know, I believe I am that person. You know, like I said, I'm originally from, uh, I'm originally from Africa, specifically Nigeria, and I believe that cash money right now you have a big fan base here in Northern America. You have a big fan base over here in the in the UK. You you pretty much crush the competition. You're running the show in these two continents. Why not take it worldwide? Why not destroy every competition that's out there in the other five continents? You've already taken o already taken over two. Why not the other five, specifically Nigeria? And a lot of people have this negative conversation about Nigerians or Africans in general that they're swinging off of vine trees and they're barbaric, they're uncivilized, they don't know what they're doing. They just you know you know, pretty much animals or monkeys, and that's not the fact, that that's not what's going on. Nigerians are civilized, Nigeria is the second most populated, the, the second most uh, uh, developed country in all of Africa, Nigeria is uh, the uh, highest populated country in all of Africa, 150 million people strong, probably even more than that. Uh, some of the richest people in the world are from Nigeria, but you don't hear it because, like I said, because of this stereotypical, um, uh, stereotypical uh, mentality that they have that Africans are monkeys and we don't do anything with ourselves and things of that nature. You know, I mean, I know you guys know where I'm coming from because the same thing with the uh, black Americans, a lot of white people and a lot of other people of color, they tend to think that black people were nothing, you know, with thugs who go to jail and just make a whole bunch of babies and different different uh, stereotypical things of that nature. But having said that, I believe that cash money needs to take over all seven continents to really have people saying to themselves, there's nothing other than cash money. That even if 
uh, another label even opens their mouth or even tries to utter any statement about how big they are or whatever, that cash money will automatically shut them down. And every each and every continent in the world will automatically allow them to know that. When everybody who's anybody screaming to cash money, I believe that corporate America or anybody else who wants to make a name for themselves has no other reason but to bow down to cash money. And I believe I'm the man to do that. Like I said, I'm originally from Africa, specifically Nigeria. I know my people. I know their mentality. And right now, as far as in the music industry, um, Baby Williams, I don't know if you re remember this guy, but his name is uh, DeBange. You actually took a picture with him at the uh, African MTV Awards. And he is probably the biggest thing in all of Africa right now. His name's DeBange. He has a Mo Hits record. He has, uh, and he has another partner called... Uh, uh, record label, a partner in a record label called Kenny Records. Now these two record companies, Mo Hits and Kenny Records, they're, they're the biggest thing in all of Africa. Nothing comes close to them. But the fact of the matter is, they're not even one-tenth or one of a one-hundredth of a percent as big as cash money is. So my thing is like this, if you can crush the competition over here in Northern America with all these big multi-million dollar record labels, and you can crush the competition over there in the UK, what do you think you would establish in Africa, specifically Nigeria? Because Nigeria is the giant of Africa. Whatever Nigeria does, everybody else follows in all of Africa. You understand? And the beauty about Africa, or specifically Nigeria, is this: you need very little capital, very little, uh, a very little setup to run the show. You know, like I said, uh, if, hypothetically speaking, take this for instance: if you, if you, uh, if you establish and in, in, if you establish a cash money um, record label, if you establish and you branch off into Nigeria. And I'm I'm uh, I'm under the assumption that if I was running things over there, as far as one of the uh, branches in uh, in Africa, just imagine the possibility that if you put down I don't know let's say you hypothetically put down a, a million dollars to run the label over there, do you know how much things you know how much you know how much you can actually do with that over there in Nigeria in a country like that, whereas you know everybody there is struggling everybody's hungry they're trying to eat, you know and you will get people that are so dedicated so devoted to you just pennies on the dollar and it's that that's what business is all about it's all about capital it's all about the uh, the overhead it's all about all these things that you have to consider because over here in northern america and over there in the uk to bring an artist out before you even make money off of them you spend in like two three million dollars but if you establish a whole company a whole branch of cash money in nigeria and you establish it with just pennies on the dollar and then the artists they're producing you know a hundred times more money than you invested in them what do you think the profit would be to cash money? It would be a lot of money because that's what cash money is all about. We're all about making the money. So my proposal to cash money is this. Have a branch out there in Nigeria and we'll take over the continent because, like I said, Nigeria is the giant of Africa. There's nobody else. Nothing happens outside. Nothing happens in the whole of Africa without Nigeria either initiating it or bringing it up to, uh, bringing it up to the forefront for everybody else. So that's my um, advice. That's my comment. That's my proposal to cash money. Baby Williams... Uh, Slim Williams get at me because there's so many things out there right now that are just not making a lot of sense and cash money is the only thing that makes sense and I believe I can be part of that. I can be part of that organization because of all the great things that you've done for the youth and for people that are nobodies and turn them into somebodies. And I believe that I can bring something to the table that will definitely put ca cash money in the forefront for, um, in the continent of uh, in Africa, specifically Nigeria. So get at me, F-E-Y-I-0-2 at AOL.com.